Hey guys, even here, and this is a recent photo of Phil Heath. Unless you do not possess the power of eyesight, you must notice that he looks rather small, right, in this photo. A few people sent me this photo and they said the same thing, why does he look so small? The photo was uploaded by Gilles Thomas, I hope that that's how you pronounce his name, Gilles. I don't know really much about him, but I noticed that he is running one of the shows at the Muscular Development. It's him and this guy on the right that is holding the picture of Phil Heath. These guys are the hosts of that show, and uh, if you want my comment on that, um, they have great guests because they have a big name. MD, Muscular Development, is one of the biggest brands in bodybuilding industry, and it has been for a long, long time. But this guy, I mean, both of them, I don't know how passionate they are about bodybuilding and do they really follow it? Do they really know anything about it? Because whenever I watch the, the interviews, they kind of try to have, at least this guy, the other guy, the black guy, doesn't really talk too much, but Gilles, Thomas, he's always conducting the interviews and he's kind of trying to have strong opinions on some subjects, but I don't think really he believes in most of them. I think he just says it for the sake of having an argument or opinion. But I don't think he really understands bodybuilding at that level where it actually should be in order to be a host of a, such a big show, I mean, MD, having guests like Phil Heath, Mr. Olympia champions, right? He's looking at this as just simply show business. I don't think he's really crazy about bodybuilding. I don't think he understands it, really. But he does have great guests and they are making the show themselves. I don't think his comments are necessary to make the show better. Anyways, enough about that. Let's talk a little bit more about this photo. So, basically, in this photo right here, Phil does look smaller. That's true. And everybody who thinks that Phil is smaller right now than he was a few days ago or a few weeks ago, you are wrong. You are wrong. He just seems smaller because these guys are hiding his arms, for example. He does not really try hard to outangle people when he takes photos. I think he's just too confident and he doesn't really care about it as much. And sometimes he looks smaller in the photos. But there is a bunch of new photos from the same event, from the same evening. And you can notice that he looks much bigger than this. As you can see, he looks super small. He looks huge. Not only his arms, but pretty much his whole body. But yeah, he's very arm dominant. Very, very arm dominant. And uh, he looks absolutely huge. He looks really freaking impressive. I mean, look at his photo right here. Damn. I mean, yeah, it's an angle, but still. Still, he definitely does not look small. That's only one photo. You cannot judge anything based on one photo. I mean, you can. You can make a fun video like I do sometimes. I know. But it's not accurate. It's usually not accurate. It's just fun to talk about it. But let's be real. I mean, right now, you can see a bunch of other photos and you can see that Phil Heath is looking huge. And it begs the question, why is he so big? And I already made a video about it. But pretty much what I think is he's not going to compete. Not this year. I think he's just having fun. And I think his cortisol levels are low, and that's why he's making progress, he's getting bigger. And uh, it seemed that he's gonna do the Mr. Olympia this year, but I'm kind of losing hope right now. I'm not saying I'm absolutely certain that he's not gonna do it, nobody knows that pretty much. I'm not sure if he knows it, I'm not sure if he decided, but maybe he just wants to make a surprise, maybe he just wants to surprise us all. Because he's really trying this year, I mean, he's going on all kinds of events, and he's uploading photos of himself, he's training hard. And he didn't do that much before he lost the title. He was withdrawn. He was in his bubble. He was training and he was having fun with his wife. He wasn't really trying to make a business out of his brand. Maybe he was just happy with that $400,000 check every year. Maybe right now because he doesn't have that check as he's not a Mr. Olympia anymore. Maybe that's why he's trying to grow his business. But maybe he wants to get back in the game. Maybe he thinks that the judges made him lose because he wasn't trying his hardest to promote the sport of bodybuilding. But if he really thinks that, he's wrong. Because he lost simply because Sean was better that night. Sean looked better. But anyways, right now, we can all speculate about Phil Heath. Whether he's going to compete again or not. But anything is possible, pretty much. It all seems that he's going to skip 2019, but if he decides to do a little diet at the last minute and jumps in, he's already qualified for life. And with this kind of mess, I think he has very big chances to actually regain his title, which would make him second bodybuilder in the world that did that. 
after Jay Cutler. And I'm sure Jay Cutler would hate that. Anyways, guys, this is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like it. Make sure to comment down below. Tell me what you think about Phil Heath. Do you think he has the chances to win the throne if he competes again? Do you think he'll compete again? Do you think he's downsized? <laughs> but I don't think anybody can think that after seeing all these photos. He looks huge. He looks freaking humongous. Once again, guys, if you want to help out, please like the video and please comment down below. It really helps the algorithm and I'm getting close to 10,000 subscribers. So please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna bury you with content and I'm gonna try to be original. I'm gonna try to make it fun and exciting because Olympia is coming up. And when that time comes, this channel is gonna be on fire. So be ready for that. And again, subscribe. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.